Chelsea Davis here, and today I'm going to chat with two actors, Justina Machado, who is on Dancing with the Stars, and then also Luke Wilson, who has a new show on ABC called Emergency Call. But ladies first, tonight is my personal favorite theme for Dancing with the Stars. It's Disney night, and there are 14 pro and celebrity couples who are hoping to have a magical performance and to have their wish come true to remain in the competition. Justina Machado and Sasha have been at the top of the leaderboard for two straight weeks. Going into this third week, the couple is tied from first place with former bachelorette Caitlin Bristow and Artem. So what will happen tonight? Well, right now I have Justina here to chat about her experience so far. Hey, Justina. Hello, Chelsea. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well out here in Phoenix. So funny, I have to share that I'm good friends with Glenn Scarpelli from the original cast of One Day at a Time, and he absolutely loves and adores you. We were texting last night and he wants me to let you know he is so proud of you. He is. He's so great. I love him. I was so happy when he came and he did a cameo on the show. It's like, I wish we could have him back. That energy and that man is just incredible. Amen. I second that. And speaking of energy, you have been so fun to watch. I'm not even kidding. I'm a former dancer and I watched you come out the first night and I was just like, wow, Justina is slaying it. You're doing such an amazing job. Thank you. That means so much coming from a former dancer. I really, that means everything. Cause I'm, I'm like my, you know, my feet, my this. So thank you. You're so welcome. And you know, I think some people don't realize that acting and dancing have a lot in common because you have to tap into the emotion of the story you're performing and then showcase it in sync to movement and music. And it's just been so impressive to see all that you've accomplished in your career, not only on stage, but on TV and film and now on the show. So specifically for Dancing with the Stars, do you have a favorite part of the ballroom experience so far? What's been my favorite part is seeing what can happen with hard work is knowing that, you know, as I walk in there all the time thinking that I can't do it. <laughs> and then at the end of when, when we do it, it's like, wow, we did that. So it's so rewarding to push yourself and, you know, to push yourself through those boundaries and insecurities that we put up for ourselves sometimes. That's been the most rewarding. Right, and you're an inspiration for that. You can shatter your own glass ceiling. There are no limitations. And for you, there is so much more that you are going to achieve. I'm telling you, I have a feeling that you are gonna go really far in this competition. And you have a great partner. Sasha is incredible. And we have to talk about tonight. It's Disney night. And I heard you're gonna be dancing the Charleston to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Mary Poppins, which is exciting. And it's also got a fast tempo. So how did you guys come up with that song? Is it your favorite? She's one of my favorites. So they did ask like, who are your favorite? And I have so many favorite Disney characters because I love Disney. So one of the favorites and you know, she's just such an iconic character and her message is so bright and fantastic. Everything is possible, even the impossible. And that you just kind of want to dance to that. You know, it just, it's something it's timeless and it's timely that message. So it's, it's a great choice. I love it. And Disney is all about dreams coming true. So it's going to be a feel good night watching you take the floor. What would have been your second or third pick? I know you said you love Disney. I do too. Little Mermaid, Cinderella. Uh, I love Cinderella and Little Mermaid. I'd say that those, those are my three favorite for sure. Cinderella is my favorite too. That's what my parents called me growing up and we even tied it into my wedding for my own happily ever after. I saw a few times on social media, you added a hashtag, Team Locomotion. Is that your new team name or hashtag for the season? That is. <laughs> We are locomotion. That was Sasha. He was brilliant with coming up with that. So that is, that is our team hashtag. That's our team name. You'll have to give Sasha a high five for me. I love it. No matter what happens though, when this show ends, I'm curious, do you think you're going to want to continue dancing? I, I don't know. I thought about that. That's a really good question because I said, am I going to miss it? Am I going to want to take a dance class? Am I going to be more confident in a dance class? Because that's part of the reasons I never took dance classes because I, I wasn't confident enough. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll, you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> Okay, and I hope you feel more confident with it because you've got a natural gift, seriously. And we will follow along with your journey and take us along for the ride. Now, it was back in early September, you posted a short video with a funny face like, I'm about to fall over on the floor from practice. And it was your birthday, right? Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. It was my birthday. Yes, I remember. It was, that was before the first dance. And it was like a week before my 48th birth, or, or uh, a weekend before my 48th birthday, which made me go, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing to my body? But, you know, uh, that was part of the reason I took it too, because I said, 
man, you know, you're turning 48. Let's do this. You can do this. It's something to push through, you know, push through all these kind of ideas we have about age and about ourselves, you know? Right, exactly. And truly, you look so amazing and you're so inspirational. So thank you so much for your time. We're excited to keep watching you. And we know this is such an interesting way to be performing with Dancing with the Stars, with social distancing and no live audience. But seriously, thank you for being a light for all of us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for, for saying that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day. Too. Bye bye. Hashtag Team Locomotion. Remember, you can vote live through the website or you can text only during the broadcast and then those live votes will be combined with the judges scores. Host Tyra Banks will always break it all down for you. But remember, your vote helps determine who stays and who goes. Disney Night on Dancing with the Stars will be on at 7 tonight on ABC. And then after that, you're going to want to stick around for a new show. Not long ago, I interviewed actor Luke Wilson about his role on DC's Stargirl. But from fictional superpowers to real life, everyday heroes, he has a new unscripted series called Emergency Call premiering tonight. It features 911 call centers across the country sharing the first few minutes of emergencies through the lens of 911 call takers and then the moments leading up to the arrival of help from the first responders. Actor Luke Wilson is going to be hosting the show and he's here right now to talk about it all. Hi Chelsea, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good Luke. It's great to hear from you again. How are you? Good, thank you. How's Phoenix? Good. Oh, it's beautiful out here as always. I'm still sending you some sunshine and I actually worked in Dallas, so I know it's pretty nice out there this time of year, right? Yeah, it's actually nice. It's kind of cooled off. I mean, I've, I haven't been here for, for long, but it, it, it is nice and it's overcast, which is always nice, but you can definitely feel that feeling when the heat's kind of dissipated. Everybody has a little more pep in their step. Especially when the humidity goes away for sure. Also, I have to say, love chatting with you and Breck about DC's Stargirl. Now okay. you're in the emergency. Yes, of course. And now with Emergency Call, you're spotlighting real life superheroes in this series, which is so important. And I remember it was back in February of 2018, BMW reading about how you crash. were deemed a hero um, when you rescued a woman yeah. from a smoking BMW when there was a yeah, crash. I, I'd kind of, I kind of forgotten about that. Because people have been asking me if I called 911, and yeah, I did call 911. So well, thank you, you for helping me remember that. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. And maybe it was a subconscious inspiration for the show. But what I do know is this project is very important to you. Can you explain why? Um, well, a as an actor, you know, I'd gotten to meet police and do ride-alongs. And, uh, you know, they're always kind of police on set you know, helping with, you know, traffic and things like that. And also gotten to meet firefighters and paramedics, but had never gotten to meet call takers or, or go to a call center. And um, to me, yeah, it just seemed incredibly interesting. And, and it was the most interesting research I've ever done for anything was getting to go to these call centers and also just to work on the show and listen to the different calls from the from the uh, from the centers that I that I wasn't in, but you realize what incredible people they are and how skilled they are at multitasking something that I'm terrible at, and they're you know they're not just getting you know your address and what your issue is. A lot of times they're helping calm you down or they're helping to console you while you wait for the first responders. So they really are unbelievably interesting people. Yes, they are. I remember visiting a call center before, and actually, when I was younger, I broke my neck. So I wasn't the one making the 911 call, but I was on the other end receiving the help, and they are absolutely amazing. I would even go as far to say angels on earth. I ended up watching this short so, teaser trailer yeah. of the emergency call show, and I just have to say, just, I, feel I feel like, like we're, we're going to be on a roller coaster ride, ride of emotions watching it. Yeah, for sure. And like one thing they said to me is most people in their life only call 911 once or maybe twice. So even though they deal with thousands of calls in their career, they treat each call with the importance that it that it has to you. And, you know, they said kind of humorously that, you know, most people that call 911 aren't calling because they're having a great day. They're calling because they have some kind of um, difficult situation they're dealing with. So yeah, it was it was incredible to see how how uh, hard they work and the effort that they put into taking care of people. 
Exactly. Well, we're so used to seeing you in a funny role. Are there going to be some funny moments mixed into this too, or is it straight suspense the entire time? No, there. I, I asked the same question as be, we began to work on it because, you know, I've definitely heard those, you know, 911 calls where it was a few years ago, some couple ate some THC edibles and they thought that they were dying and they couldn't get off the couch. I mean, it wasn't funny for them, but it was a funny, it was a funny call. Um, but there are definitely things like that in the show. And, and it's nice. And, and it's actually, it's just like what I experienced in the call centers. Like they appreciate the chance, you know, to kind of get to have a laugh when they do get a call from, you know, someone's come out of a bar and they've had a few drinks and they their, their emergency is they can't remember, you know, where they chain their bike. Um, but yeah, there, there are definitely some funny calls. Well, we'll be happy to have the mix and moments of levity for sure. And we're really looking forward to seeing this show with you and this project and hopefully bringing a new perspective that everyone needs to see about these amazing everyday real life heroes. So we'll get the word out for you. Okay, Chelsea, thanks very much. I appreciate it and take it easy. Thanks, you too. Have a great day. Okay, you too. President of ABC Entertainment Carrie Burke said that an estimated 240 million calls are made every year to 911 call centers across the U.S. And this show will shine a light on the brave voices who literally answer the call to help. You can watch the premiere of Emergency Call on ABC at 9 o'clock tonight, right after you watch Disney Night on Dancing with the Stars at 7. We'll see you next time.